Hi there, in this video I'm going to go through uh, and explain how to work out the equation of the line uh, containing two fixed points. So in other words, if you have two fixed points which lie on your line, how to work out the vector equation of that line. Okay, so in this case, so let me just write this down, so uh, vector equation of a line, okay, um, containing two fixed points. So let me underline that. So let me have uh, a set of axes. So in this case, so as you know, I, I normally use uh, the unit vectors i, j, and k. Okay, so if this is i, j, and k unit vectors, and if I have a line like so, okay, uh, also if I have two fixed points A and B on my line, okay, and if the position vectors with respect to the origin are small a and small b, okay, respectively, so I hope you can see that. Now, if you have another vector, so the position vector of any point P lying on your line, so P is any point which lies on your line, and if that position vector is denoted by R, okay, so in this case, um, OA, the vector OA, the position vector of A relative to the origin A is given. Also, the position vector of B relative to the origin B is given. And remember, um, P is the P is any point on your line, so if the position vector of P relative to the origin is R, okay? So in this case, let me find the vector AB. So remember in one of the videos, so in one of the previous videos that I've done, the vector AB is the vector OB minus the vector OA, okay? So in this case, remember OB and OA vectors are given. So in this case, AB will be OB, which is B, minus OA, which is the vector A. So it's B minus A. And let me also work out the vector AP. So I'm gonna find the vector AP. The vector AP is the vector OP minus the vector OA. And if I replace the vectors OP and OA, we're going to have OP, which is given, which is vector R, minus OA, which is the vector A. So it's R minus A. Okay. So in this case, looking at this, remember AP, the vector AP and the vector AB are parallel. So remember the condition for parallel. If two vectors are parallel, one of the vectors will be a scalar multiplied by the other. So in this case, the vector AP is parallel to the vector AB. So since the vector AP is parallel to the vector AB, therefore, uh, AP in this case is R minus A and that is equal to lambda into the vector AB which is B minus A. Okay. Now if I rearrange this for the vector R, the vector R when we rearrange will be A plus lambda B minus A. 
So that is the vector equation in order to work out the equation of a line uh, containing uh, two fixed points. So remember, if you have two fixed points on your line, in order to work out its equation, we can use this result, r equals a plus lambda b minus a. Okay? So that ends this video. Uh, in the next video, I'll go through examples uh, whereby I apply this result. Um, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.